Welcome back. What is EDR? If you're starting cybersecurity in 2020, you'll see that a lot of companies are investing in EDR. Now, there are two types of EDRs and very often a lot of the products out there try to achieve both outcomes. Some of those products portray themselves as being next generation antivirus product. And for them, EDR, even though the, that stands for endpoint detection and response, really they're using the buzzword EDR to sell a technology that is able to catch malware and ransomware, maybe in a way that is sort of next generation from traditional antivirus that would solely rely on rules. EDR software, as defined as a next gen antivirus, will be able to do things like behavior analytics, will use things like machine learning, and so this is more of what we could define as the automated endpoint detection and response product that somebody can install on their machine. And if this product has some level of detection capabilities, it will be able to pick up adversaries in an automated manner, raise an alert to an analyst, and then allow and enable the analyst to actually take action to stop the adversary. Now, I said there were two types of EDRs, and the second type is more of a generic piece of software that maybe has some detection capabilities, maybe it hasn't, or has a way for the analyst to write their own, but what it is, it's more of a boilerplate security software that gives the analyst capabilities such as being able to respond to an incident, so doing remote forensics on a machine, do threat hunting, so push out detection rules at scale or capture data at scale to be able to identify adversaries that have evaded or evaded uh, defenses. Uh, it will also allow you to do things like download files on remote computers, contain a computer, read the memory of a computer. So think of it as a generic piece of security software that gives the analyst the capabilities they need to be able to deploy security at scale and manage securely the fleet of computers that they are in charge of defending. And so I don't want you to think that it's just you know next-gen AV or sort of generic software as I've both labeled them. A lot of products offer a blend of these things and some are more next-gen AV and others are more sort of generic security software for security analysts. And so yourself, if you join the cybersecurity industry, expect that the company you work with will have bought such a product and um, you'll have to learn how to use it and learn how to use its uh, automated capabilities as well as its investigative capabilities that you'll have to use yourself to be able to respond to incidents, contain incidents, do threat hunting and so on and so forth. So that is what EDR is. I recommend that you yourself go online and actually um, try them out. A lot of vendors give free trials for their products. So you could install them in a virtual machine. You should try and run some attacks, try to drop some malware and actually see how they respond and what are the different features that they offer you. They also are um, public open source uh, free uh, EDRs being developed by the community. I recommend you try those as well. And if you're really game that you go and contribute to those projects. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. If you've liked this video, the next step for you is to register on our online learning platform to learn practical skills that will get you a job in the industry. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.